Are you ready for some filler content? Well, you're getting it because I can only pull so much Ashes of Creation magic out of my ass. So let's talk about PAX Day. PAX Day is an upcoming MMORPG developed on Unreal Engine 5 that is meant to be a social sandbox MMO. We've seen very little gameplay on this game so far, we just got a cinematic trailer drop today, so bear with me because everything that we've seen is in early alpha and clearly not in its final state yet. But PAX Day is this massive open world where you start in what is called the Heartlands. The Heartlands is like this safe valley for the players where you can build up your home, you can play with your friends, you can craft, you can do all of that stuff. And it's an open world sandbox game, meaning you can really build whatever you want anywhere. Every single building in this game is said to be built by another player, which will be very interesting to see how that turns out because sometimes sandbox games like this can turn into a cluster and there's just stuff everywhere and the world makes no sense where other times people are organized and clean and all that and you really it really depends on what requirements they have in the game as well there's said to be lots of customization of your character through crafting and once you decide to leave the heartlands and leave these safe valleys outside is dangerous areas where you can encounter pve encounters and other foes with pvp encounters again we don't know that much on this game but from the looks of it it does appear to be action combat there's no tab targeting and it doesn't seem that there are any specific abilities right now as well if you have a sword it's a sword on your action bar if you have a bow it's a bow on your action bar and that's the weapon you're using it's a bit more grounded they've even said style wise they want it to be all semi-realistic and the lore around the world they're basing off real life myths and fables and putting their own twists on them in the game so it's very interesting it's a much more grounded mmo something that we really don't get but there is magic in it there are ghosts and there are spirits and all that stuff over on the website though, there is a bit more details. They're calling this a vast MMO inspired by the legends of the medieval era. Here, myths are real, ghosts exist, and magic is unquestioned. In this immersive open world playground, you choose the role you wanna play. Immerse yourself along with thousands of other players as you explore land, build your home, forge your reputation, and craft your own stories. This game is a full-on player-driven economy. I said that every building in the world is players, but every item in the world is crafted by players as well. All the clothes, all the walls to the city, all the food, all the flowers, all by the player, all weapons, all armor, all tools, everything is gathered and crafted. There are no vendors giving you this stuff. There are no NPCs giving you this stuff through quests. Every single item you get in this game is made by someone else or yourself, which is huge. It'll have a huge economy based around it, a very player driven economy. And it sounds like a lot of fun. PVP wise, there are some clan wars to talk about on the website as you can struggle for power position and resources. What these entail, we really don't know yet how big these will be, if there is even a limit to it, or it's just a bunch of players running around until the servers break. We don't really know but there's a lot of pve sides to it there's a lot of mystery to explore there are evil beings there are, we've seen some wolves that they're fighting so it's pretty exciting obviously otherwise there isn't a lot known but from what we have seen so far this game really seems like what new world was meant to be originally for those of you who followed new world for a long time you will know that new world was originally an open world survival sandbox mmorpg where in the same concept most things were crafted by the players players would build the building the walls, the forts, everything like that. And New World strayed very far away from this. And unfortunately, it probably hurt them more than it would because we don't have a lot of sandbox MMOs like this. And this is something that I think will do very well for people who enjoy those types of games. And unfortunately, something that New World probably missed out on when they revamped their entire MMO. If you guys want to sign up for alpha testing, you can head over to playpacksday.com. Links in the description below. They're also on Discord, on Twitter, and all of that. You can check out the full videos of the cinematic trailer and the gameplay in the description below as well. And let me know what your thoughts are in the comments down below. Otherwise, if you're new to this channel, please hit that subscribe button, click that thumbs up, turn on the bell for notifications, and stay tuned for a lot more to come. This is where we belong, exploring this vast and wondrous world. Its treasures call out to be discovered. Its ancient secrets beckon us ever deeper. 
into the unknown.